Hi, it's Steve from Pirate Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the lower gasket on your dishwasher door, and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a pair of needle nose pliers and a flat blade screwdriver. Let me show you how we do it. Now the first step in this repair will be to open the dishwasher door completely, and then we're going to remove any items that are on the bottom rack, and then remove the rack itself and set it aside. And with a pair of needle nose pliers, we'll locate the edge of that gasket in one corner, and then we're just going to push that back enough that we can reach inside and grasp it with our pliers, and then we're going to pull it straight out. And we need to take note of how that gasket fits in there. There's a arrow-shaped lip on one edge of it, that actually has two ribs on it. That is the side of the gasket that will push into the door. And the other edge has one strip on it that has a slight bend downwards. And that's the orientation that we need to put the new one in with the single edge pointing down. So we'll discard the old gasket. We'll take our new gasket. Make sure we have it laid out the right way. And there is a notch on one end as well that will line up with an opening there. So before we go to fit that in, we'll take a flat blade screwdriver. We're just going to reach into that groove, clean any soap crud or food debris out of that slot. And make sure that we have a nice clean fit. Now that we've cleaned that groove out, as we go to put the new gasket in, we'll start with the end that has the notch on it. You may need to pull up on that inner door panel enough to make your fit a little easier. Once we've got that notch in position, we can just work our way along the length of the gasket. We have it pressed firmly into position. And it should be even all the way across the bottom of that inner door panel. If any portion of it sticks out, we'll need to pull that back out and make sure that we've got that groove cleaned out properly. Now once we have it fitted in, we can now put our lower rack back in place, close up the door, and our repair is complete. I told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your repair.